When putting the birds outside, it's always best to put the naughtiest one out first. These two are naughty. You, 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 you go outside. Here's your naughty one. You're another naughty one. Merlin, Monty, Vinny. Hello, my fellow sniffers, flighters, and hatchlings. My name is Marlene McCohen, and welcome to my channel. Before we go on, I want to welcome some of you to my flighters club and give you some shout outs. That's Gina Ford, Michael W.T. Riker, and Anna Chipman. I'm really excited to have you guys on board. For those of you who don't know what that is, the flighters club is my Patreon where you can support my work making videos. Love those of you who are here early to this video. Okay, welcome to today's video. Obviously because I'm in bed and still not even like conscious yet. Today we are going to do my morning routine. And there it starts. So in case you are new here, this is a channel about me and my birds and my family and animals. It's a lot of fun, but first of all, I sleep right next to, yeah, you heard it, my bird. But this is not just any bird, this is a really spoiled bird, because look at her right now. Here she is. You want to come out, Brando? Yes, you do. here's why Brando is spoiled. First of all, Brando has a cage downstairs and every night I pretend that I'm gonna be putting Brando in the cage. I get her food ready, get her water ready, and I put Brando in there to bed. But of course, we don't go to bed as early as the birds, so we're still up, right? So every night before I go to bed and walk upstairs, I notice Brando looking under the cage, sleeping on the floor, so that if I walk by, she will be awakened and then she can just like let me know she wants to come up here. She's even flown up here. Oh my god. I was also squeezing the cat. So yeah, that's that. By the way, guys, I sleep in the men's shirts. So that's my pajamas. This is my engage not cage pajama. I love it. Okay, where are you going? We have to show everyone our morning routine. It's hard to show a morning routine when... Okay, so basically, as soon as I wake up, I wake Brando up. Sometimes if Brando wakes up before me or wants to wake up before me, then I uncover Brando's cage to start dragging the cover off. And I put her back on the cage to hang out. And then I literally go back to sleep just so she gets to be up early in the morning. Right, Brando? If I am awake, I cuddle the hell out of her for a good amount of time. I get snooze. Check out how she smells. She smells good for the day. Healthy. I can tell a lot by smell. What they ate. How they feel. So then me and Brando will most likely hang out here for a good 20 minutes at least. Good job I ain't got nowhere to be. Well, it's hard to snuggle her with this camera. So then Brando's uncovered and I let her play up there. If I should deem it too early to wake up or if she doesn't give me enough cuddles, I literally go back to sleep. And then she's just out. But sometimes when I go back to sleep, I'm awoken by a cute bird who will come over and give me a kiss. And ugh, that's just the best feeling in the world. I'm kind of feeling tired right now. If I don't go to sleep, I just stay really still and use this time to go over my dreams and just analyze what I dreamt and why, especially if it was kind of traumatic. Like last night I had kind of a crazy dream, so I just would sit here and just kind of analyze it and see if there was something I saw on, you know, Instagram or social media or TV or somewhere that I might have taken from there to put in my dream or if it's something futuristic. So I really try to decipher all that. So I lay here for a good 10 minutes trying to figure that out unless there was nothing noticeable in my dreams that I just kind of move on. There's Brando. Also about the cat. The cat sleeps in the bed right next to George and I don't get, I'm not privy to any of that. I often try to 
hold the cat captive. Cat doesn't like that because I'm like Elmira and want to squeeze the cat. That's how I got this cat hair. But Starbucks is here. She's so cute. And Starbucks is not on the bed anymore because George wakes up much earlier than me and he goes downstairs and he wakes up all the birds first. Time to actually get up. Wakes up. <laughs> Next, I literally get in the bed with my Sandy. If you guys want a nighttime routine, let me know. She loves us. I'm gonna hang out here with Sandy. Oh, I love this dog. This is not even know it's the cutest dog in the world. My cat is nowhere to be found. Sandy has two beds in here. And it's time to go shower. I look at my face and you can tell I clearly ate stuff I was allergic to last night because George was working late downstairs so I could hide what I was eating. Not good for my face, but let's recover. Now, I make the big decision whether I'm gonna wash my hair or not and I go shower with my Brando. If you watch me on Instagram, you know there's always a bird in the shower, not a bird. In the morning, there might be one bird. At night, there's lots of birds in the shower. Don't forget to watch me on Instagram, guys. Okay, so this is Brando's little perch. Just a mirror. That's where Brando's gonna be, in my shower. Okay, so now I'm dressed for the day. Didn't need to show that. I'm actually wearing, <laughs> I thought that I was putting on a tank top, one of the rainbow crops, but this is the men's tank. It's a size medium, so it's a bit too big, but I tied it at the bottom here. So this is me just wearing it. I love these because they match everything, so they match my pink pants. So that's, uh, so far we're dressed. Brando chills right here. And now I decide whether or not to put makeup on. Usually I'm a little more productive when I put makeup on. If I'm going to be just doing like work throughout the day, I don't put makeup on because the amount of time it takes me to take it off. Like I spend a lot of time making sure there's not a grain of makeup on me. Just adds to my night routine, plus getting the birds to bed and all that. So if I can avoid it, I definitely do. But again, I don't know if I'm gonna make any other videos today, like maybe some sit downs for you guys. So I think I might put some makeup on so that I'm kind of ready for anything. I'm also so much more motivated with makeup on. Before makeup, I like to get myself a cup of tea. It's gonna be like 10, 15 minutes while I do it. So let's go down and make our tea. Say hi to the birdies. So here we have a few of them, but I always hate them seeing Brando because then I feel guilty. Sandy, wanna go out? Sandy wants to go out. Always forgot about that. Sandy's gotta go out first. Go on. Hey, where's Jersey? Gotta find Jersey. Jersey! No, she's not in here. Where is she? Jersey! Jersey! Oh, there is Jersey! It looks like somebody gave you breakfast. So usually George wakes up, gives her her breakfast. Look who's here. Look who's here. Okay, let's make some tea. Hello. Are you excited? Oh, you are. Who's that beauty there? Hi, my prince. Who's that beauty? Merlin? Hi, Merlin. Hi, Merlin. Can you come out and play? Vinny is up very late, so he's still sleepy. Hi, Boo Boo. Oh, you woke up? You wanna come out? Yeah, you come with me. Yeah, okay. Glass box. Mm. Mm. Really good nighttime tea, too, because there's chamomile in it. No caffeine. Just the umbrella. kettle boiling over here. This is yellow and you see the chamomile. And now magically is going to appear pink. Our jersey breakaway blend is very magical. 
So we're gonna wait for that to turn pink. And I am going to grab myself a bar. I love these no cow bars. They're vegan. I'm really sensitive to dairy. It kind of causes a lot of mucus in my system. So I like these no cow bars. Peanut butter. And then we go up and put our makeup on. I ask each bird which wants to come. I couldn't get it on film. Vinny didn't want to come. He was my first choice. Oh, Sandy wants to be let in. But Cody wanted to come, so Cody's gonna come. Okay, so Cody's coming. You can include birds in everything that you do. If you have more than one bird, you've gotta take the opportunity to make sure that you spend time with each one by just using everything you do as an opportunity. Brando showered with me. Cody's gonna put on makeup with me. Look how dark pink this is now. Mix it around, I'm excited about it. Okay guys, this is not like a fancy makeup routine. This is just like I'm putting on my daily makeup. Just nice enough to, to be in a sit down video kind of thing. has 15 minutes and 14 seconds on the screen. Could have done that a lot faster without Cody and it's just kind of simple makeup routine. That's it and it's a nice simple look that looks good in photos. If at the end you want to add a little more shine from the Jeffree Star palette in between my eyes. His blue blood white has been my favorite one so far. I'm not a fancy makeup artist on YouTube or anything, but I'm just doing makeup for me. And when I go out, I go all out. I've been doing makeup since I was like 10 years old. And my hair is an atrocity, I know, because I usually love blow dries because I'm a Leo. If you guys do want a makeup routine from me, it won't be full of so much stuff that I see them do on Instagram. I just like to go for like a look that maybe is glamorous, but doesn't require so much caking on. I wanna wash my face just watching them do that on Instagram. <laughs> so if you guys want that, that's what it would be. As you guys saw, there was a little concealer. That concealer is so amazing, it made me not need foundation. And then a little bit of powder just to lighten up for contour. I added the lines, the contour dark lines at the end, because I thought might as well, I forgot to do them, whatever. So Cody and I are gonna go downstairs, have our tea, and decide, you know that tea? Do you want some of the jerseys blend? Yes. Mm. That's very good. I come down here and CEO has the most interesting looking, healthy, gluten-free breakfast. She's got this five grain crackers. She's got some almond butter. Hi, Cody, did you come for breakfast? I know. And some bananas on this. So I think I'm gonna try this for breakfast today. I've never been into like um, rice, what do you call them? Rice cakes, but these look thin and interesting. So I'm gonna try it today. Normally I just eat my bar if George isn't here and if he is here, he makes me breakfast. Mm -hmm. And now it gets real. Sio's trying to do stuff. She's got her bird. <laughs> and we have Cody guarding. I know. Look, she's all fluffed up. She's like the ninja of the kitchen. She's guarding it. Yeah, looking innocent. We know you're not innocent. Poor Sio just trying to make her tea and she can't. <laughs> oh, look at Ty. Ty got a little stressed and pulled out some feathers. Probably, probably from the move. At least she he had recovered and then left him out again. So we moved him downstairs. I think he was sleeping in their room and he couldn't get a good night's sleep. Toy toy. And from here, the morning routine turns into chaos. This is when I start deciding what we're gonna do with the birdies all day. Some of them are going to go outside and play outside. Vinny loves that. Leo's a little bit of a bully, so he doesn't get to go out with all the other birdies. Sometimes he does. He likes to be inside with his mommy. Are you playing with Ty? These guys like banana. You like the banana? Oh yeah. Okay. Give all the birds some snacks and treats. And give some banana. You want banana? You want to go guard your kitchen? 
You want to fight for kitchen rights? So either Merlin or Cody is going to have to go in the aviary outside. Cody loves it more. So Cody gets to go out more. But I think today is Merlin's day. Because you're Merlin. Merlin's so naughty. Uh, come here, baby. Come here. Come here. Uh, she flies really well. Did you guys see how well Brando flies? She's so Boy, Do you want to tell them? Tell them all about your flight. How was it? That was a nice flight. With your little yelling face. It's so cute. I have to be honest, a lot of my day is wasted just sniffing birds. Or it's not a waste. When putting the birds outside, it's always best to put the naughtiest one out first. These two are naughty. So those are some that we put out first. And we also put Vinny out first. Because Vinny, I get his carrier and I take him out that way. He loves going outside and he loves going on trips, so he just loves to carry on. He will literally walk right into it and tell me he wants to go outside. You, 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 you go outside. You're the naughty one. You're another naughty one. Merlin, Monty, Vinny. The reason I use a carrier for Vinny is because he gets spooked by things easily, like he doesn't like dogs. I firmly believe like if Vinny flew, he'd fly right back to me because that's what he does in the house. But outside it's a different ballgame because once they get lost, yeah. You have stuff to say? What do you want to say about being in there? Bless you. I have a lot of toys in waiting. So you can see right there, there's always a lot of cleaning. Next naughtiest, Merlin. Although he looks so innocent right here. And this is all him and Cody. This is their tent. You wanna go outside today or you want Cody to go outside? This is a hard decision for me. Rocky, you wanna go outside? See, oh, who should go outside, Merlin or Cody? Cody, it's time. You wanna go outside? You like it out there. You want the water outside? I turned the misters on for you. I set up the camera to bring Cody outside. Cody doesn't want to come outside. That's fine. That's her choice. She knows. I asked her. She doesn't want to come. So she knows where she's going. So she gets to be inside today. What? You want to go outside? No, that means no. So I listen to them. Where's Merlin? Merlin's going. Oh, Merlin's having tea. No wonder you don't want Merlin to leave. You're spoiling him rotten with his... Is that warm water? Yeah. Yeah, you like how oh, I like it outside, but he hates the idea of missing something, you know? I know. He does FOMO. <laughs> he does. All the cockatoos have FOMO. Honestly, that's why I love cockatoos. I relate. Because they yeah, have it's FOMO. It's like, that's so me right yeah, now. Yeah, <laughs> I do have major FOMO. Yeah. And I like that's why I relate to Jersey when she's on the banister and no one's there and she just starts screaming. I'm like, that's me, Jersey. I get it. If a tree falls in the forest, <laughs> does anyone hear it? No, that's why you gotta call everyone over. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on there? He's ready before it goes too long. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't we all? I see what you're doing. I know exactly what you're doing. I'm on to you. You found out that if you went over the El Salvadorian queen, you get snacks, you get warm water, you get attention, you get someone cleaning up after you, you get love. This is... This is, this is. He's looking at me like, oh my God, God. He, like, he likes, it. he's been trying to steal your heart since you got here. He's like, no, oh, okay, it's okay. You can be your best friend. I'm not jealous. Do you want to go outside, Merlin? You are pretty naughty. <laughs> Look at him, he's like, excuse me, I just found a new piece of garbage to play with. <laughs> Were you sleeping? I caught you sleeping. Look at my baby. Look at my baby. Okay, now that I got the birds somewhat situated, that concludes my morning routine. Besides for the fact that I made myself coffee, it's pretty much afternoon now. And now I'm going to go into my office and work. And, and these guys, they chill out here. And Leo chills out here and Rocky chills out there. They're all kind of just trained to be out and chill. And so they don't have to be locked up when I'm doing other things. If you guys want to see my routine in the afternoon with my birds, let me know down below. Don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys so much. Bye. <laughs>
Thank you.